I'd like to talk about another key aspect of this product. We've spoken about video recording. I also mentioned earlier that this is a multi-purpose conversion tool. And it's a really great tool. It's like a Swiss Army knife of conversion uh, facilities. Number one, because we have SDI in and out and HDMI in and out, we can use it as an SDI to HDMI converter or vice versa. We can come in SDI out and feed that loop that signal through onto both the HDMI out and the SDI out, or vice versa. Um, so that's a pretty useful tool in itself. Then we have the ability to do frame size conversion in real time. We can do things like cross conversion, whereby we're converting, say, 1080i to 1080p. We can do up conversion from 720p to 1080p or 1080i. We can down convert from 1080 to, to 720p. We can even take in an SD signal and up convert it to HD. So we can do all these frame size conversions on the fly without any artifacts. It's pretty incredible. Um, we can also do PSF to interlaced to progressive conversions, which is neat because often cameras are outputting PSF because they've been designed to work with external monitors and most monitors don't are not happy with progressive signals. So we can take that PSF signal and actually convert it back to progressive without any artifacts. So it's a pretty powerful tool. On top of that, we have the ability to convert frame rates. We pretty much almost allow any frame rate conversion. The, the scaler inside here is doing some very clever, uh, has a very clever algorithm which merges fields and frames and, uh, in real time. And it, and it does that in a very clever way to minimize any motion jutter. In general, this will do a very good job of converting, say, from 30p to 24p, or 2997 to 23976. Um, so it can be a pretty useful tool in that respect. One of the, I guess, the, the mo more common frame rate conversions is 3 to 2 pull down. And we, we can remove that in real time. Um, as you know, there are many cameras which, although they're set to record internally at 1080p24, what they're actually outputting on their SDI output or HDMI output is 1080i60. And they do this so that the signal can be monitored on a wider range of external monitors. If you take that 1080i signal into your post-production workflow, the first thing that has to happen is they have to remove those, those duplicate frames. So what we can do on the fly is actually detect when that interlaced signal coming into the device is actually has this pull-down pattern, this cadence, and we can automatically d remove those duplicate frames and convert back to the original 24p. Thus, saving post-production the job of having to do it themselves. Okay, so it's a pretty key feature. 